So today I'm heading down from here in Homestead to Gothenburg across Sweden to Stockholm to go see my boy Jesper Wallstedt. He plays for Luleå in the SHL, starting goalie for Luleå, starting goalie for Team Sweden the World Juniors this year, played last year as well, and a 20th overall pick in last year's NHL draft by the Minnesota Wild. This guy is nasty, and I'm stoked to be making this journey. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be like an eight hour journey across Sweden to go see him. I'm already sweating. So I'm heading across Sweden from Homestead to Gothenburg, and then from Gothenburg to Stockholm for tonight's game to see Jesper Wallstedt. So I got in Stockholm around 3 p.m., went for dinner with my buddy Leland, and then after that, I was off to the Hovit, which is the home of you, Gordon, in the SHL for tonight's game. Now, warm-ups are easily my favorite part of going to any live hockey. And tonight's goalies were obviously Jesper Wallstedt and Yola Sananti for Lilia. And then you, Gordon starter, Mantis Armalis, more on him a little bit later. And then Alexander Salak. Now, I could yammer on about how awesome these guys are for a while, but instead, I'll let you be the judge for yourself. Enjoy these warm-up clips, and I'll catch up with you after for the start of the game. news. Ballstead is not starting. I wish he was. On the other side though, Lassanani, the other goalie from Julia, apparently he's nasty. Has a record for shutouts, 36 shutouts, 700 or 300 games. It's pretty good. So yeah, kind of a bummer. Come halfway across Sweden to watch somebody and coach decides to play the other goalie. However, there was a bright spot here. Now, Yola Sananti, the other goalie for Lulia, played for Team Sweden at the World Juniors about 10 years ago. And he's been a staple in the SHL ever since. He's also part of an extremely rare breed of goaltenders in today's game. He's short. Now, I understand people may not like the fact that hockey favors massive goaltenders in today's game, but the objective is to cover the net. When you're a large human, that really helps contribute to that end goal. Now, with that said, as a big guy myself, you know, every now and then to watch and study these shorter guys that have, you know, not just stuck around, but thrived in their careers, keeping up with the big guys. And obviously, Yol has absolutely done that. Now, at the other end of the rink is a goal that I didn't even know existed before this game started. But by the end of tonight's game, would have me cheering for every single save he was making. Now, this is Mantis Armalis. He's a starter for you, Gordon. He lit up the Elsvenskin, spent time in the AHL as a part of the San Jose Shark system, played in the KHL, and has now has come back full circle to where he began his hockey career in Stockholm playing for you, Gordon, but now in the SHL. Also, did I mention he's quite possibly one of the best looking men on the planet? More on that later. Now, you, Gordon, has absolutely struggled in the standings this season, but again, don't be fooled by the stat line. This guy's post work, athletic saves, and the massive frame, 6'4, have me buying into the Mantis Armalis fan club, and instead of telling you about it, let me show you. We got about four minutes left in the third period. Montes Armalis, the goalie for you, Gordon, is like a GQ model. Look at this right here. 
and I'm emotionally invested in the men. They've blown like a 4-1 lead, it's 4-4 right now, but I want them to win now. Because Wallstead's not in net. I hope Wallstead doesn't see this. He's probably gonna see this. I just, I love a hockey and swing, it's so fun. Nice stop, Mantis, I love this man. Nice, oh, nice hinge, nice hinge. Come on, Mantis, we love you, we love you. Overtime was scoreless, so it was a shootout next. Just watch this goal from Tim Soderbaum. Come on, Tim. Yes, yes. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Oh! Okay, the shootout is one nothing for you, Gordon. I love Mantis Arnanis. They have a chance to win. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> what a game. What, what a comeback by you, Gordon. Exciting game top to bottom. The real reason I came is we got uh, these Transpac Pro laces yes, for Wall Street. We were supposed to get them custom ones, but... Okay, so mission log. So this guy... I just had to give the laces to. He's gonna go and deliver them for me to Cali. We're gonna run a little tight up. The Rokla Zamboni driver ended up stealing them. So I had to get another set, and these are the custom, it's supposed to be a sample set, but it's a set he's gonna try out, and I really hope he loves it, because I'm such a, I'm a big fan of Wall Street. Oh, here, catch him. So after that, Jesper met up with Leland and I. I passed him the Traspic Pro laces. We caught up a little bit, and hopefully get to watch him play again live sometime soon. And that was basically it. The trip was over. The next day I headed back to Homestead. And I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I got a couple more SHL videos profiling different goalies coming up in the very near future. And if you want to pick up a set of the Traspec Pro laces, the same ones that I gave Jesper Wallace in this video, there's a link in the video description to pick up a set. Also, if you want to get to know more about Jesper on a personal level, check out my podcast episode I did with him back in the fall. My co-host Pat Shane and I, we've healed back the layers talking about how he got so good, quitting school at such an early age to pursue hockey full-time, all that and more. Again, link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.